Hello, this is CyberDoc. Today I want to show you our new product, CyberDoc Tinger. So, are you tired of um, your soldering iron when you do soldering and come out looks like crap? After a while, the lemon, the coating on the soldering iron can go bad and you can get rusty. If you don't take good care, or if you use too high of the degree, like I do, I use like 300 to 400 degrees Celsius to the solder, or sometimes even higher than 400, because I am impatient of hitting my iron, and I left my iron on for too long. Uh, it gets crusty, it, it gets rusty, or it depends on the flux you use, it could be corrosive, and the iron could just look like terrible, like this. So what you usually do is traditionally you have those little tinner block and they don't always work because what they have is they have like iron they have like um, they have tin alloy powder with mix of ammonium chloride um, but that stuff is toxic the fume you make from those tinner for one thing they don't work really well in my experience anyway. I don't know how it's your experience, but they don't work um, all that well. But also the fume, you don't want to breathe in ammonium, uh, ammonia fumes with like hydrochloric acid burning in it. It's just, it's corrosive and it's toxic. So what I have here, it's our new product. It's completely, sa completely safe, it's left free. The little metal you see in here it's a, a low melting tin alloy without lead so there's no, no harmful metal on it uh, you can actually touch it it's completely safe and it's filled with flux it's filled with rosin flux on the side inside there's a copper mesh inside the rosin flux and this on the side is for you to clean your southern iron so the secret is uh, the Copper mush is the cover, the cover cleaning mush. So you have the tin alloy inside in the center where you can tin your iron. On the side, you can clean your iron and you surround it by solid flux. So let me show you one of these in action. This is the one I use. Um, so you this this is a southern iron as you can see it's pretty fucked up and right now um, I'm using 350 degrees Celsius on the southern iron with the suction assisting so what you can do is you can dip the southern iron while it's heat up do it at uh, 350 or 400 degrees Celsius and you go to the center first if you want to tin the southern iron you melt the flux and you just do this go in and out, dip it in and your iron is tin and if you want to clean the tin or if your iron was still dirty you could go to the side and get a really good cleaning and get all the tin like your iron has, like say if it has a lot of solder on it, you want to clean it off, you go to the side and you can wipe it off to the side because copper will, as you know, copper will soak out all the, all the solder that's on your soldering iron so you get a completely clean soldering iron but if you want to tin the soldering iron with a little bit of tin metal alloy it's low melting temperature, it melts around 200 degrees, actually it melts around 100 and, uh, 150 degrees, I would say, 140 degrees Celsius, so it melts a lot lower melting than your tinning block. The tinning block you traditionally buy that's left free, it melts at 240 degrees Celsius, which is um, very high, and you re it requires you to use the sawing iron at very high degree temperature. But f with this tinning block we, we sell, the tinning can, CyberDoc tinning can, you can keep your iron at lower temperature, you can tin it at lower temperature and our alloy has a higher degree percentage of tin than the traditional tinning powder and we use better flux in it. The tinning powder doesn't usually come with flux, it's usually dry. 
and the copper mush that's inside can clean your clean and brush your soldering iron at the same time. And as a result, you can get a very very nicely clean soldering iron. Let me just focus onto the iron. See? It's very nicely tin. So what I like to do is I usually just um, use this every time I need to use the soldering iron before I start my repair. I dip it in and get some tin onto my soldering iron. Get a nice one tin and then it will soak up solder. Then you can start your repair. Once you finish, you also want to clean the soldering iron of whatever gunk from the repair that you made onto the soldering iron and go to the center and melt melt that tin that's inside the mush and get it onto your soldering iron that way your iron is tinned before you put it into storage so there's a layer a layer of tin on, right now on the soldering iron tip now you can put safely put this to storage for, until next time that way your soldering iron tip wouldn't get oxidized over time when you put it in storage and I can turn off the suction so you know this as you can see this doesn't make all that much smoke now the suction is off you don't actually make that much smoke from this tinning device and it's completely safe there's no harmful material in this it's really just copper rosin flux and tin tin alloy that's low melting and outside this cup it's made of stainless steel. Stainless steel doesn't soak out uh, doesn't soak out solder, so the solder wouldn't get heat like um, get adhere to the container itself. Um, over time, when you using this like I did, like I use this one a lot, the tin that's originally on top of the soldering can. The tin can, it can go down to the bottom. So this one you have to melt it, like you, you see, they melt it in, and then it tins very nicely. But over time, it's gonna go down to the bottom. You'll still get a tinning effect, but you just don't see the tin itself. It will go to the bottom of it, so you just dip it down, and you can get the tin. Uh, you can always put more tin in it by using your soldering wire. If it's left free, you just melt it down, and it will you can resupply the tin. If you want to add more tin, you can always do that. And once it dries, this thing cool down. It's not liquidy anymore. Hence, you don't really need a cup for it. Once it cool down, it just becomes solid flux. There you have it. This is a CyberDock tin block. That tins your southern iron tip. You can get these at cyberdockllc.com get from our website and clean your soldering iron oh I got some of the flux onto the soldering iron that's why it's making the smoke on top not instead in the bottom so what you want to do is you don't want to go too deep thank you for watching I'll see you next time